If I could, I'd go under deep to his scapula where I connect the rhomboid directly into the serratus anterior. That serratus anterior turns into the external oblique. That external oblique comes down over the superficial uh, aponeurotic sheet of the abdominals, connecting into the internal oblique on the opposite side, where it goes to the ASIS. Yeah. You put a bit of tension on that. Just pin that with your own whole here. Yeah. If Dench attempts to rotate to his left, he will feel a natural resistance from the band stopping him from going that way. Yeah. But if he rotates his ribcage to the right, you quite clearly feel that the band is trying to pull him to the right. This is going to be your predictor of which spiral line is shorter. Yeah. In this case, can you see his ribcage is pointing to the right. The line gets its name from where it originates in the back of his neck, which is the right spiral line. Therefore, the right spiral line is shorter on them. The upper part of the spiral line. That's the upper piece. Then we get to the lower portion of the spiral line. We're going to continue from where we meet the internal root here at the ASIS, and we're going to pick up on the TFO. Pull it up to where. Yeah. Hold that for some reason. So, this front portion is going to take us down TFL into iliotibial band to the outside of the knee. We then pick up on the tibialis anterior, which we've already seen in the superficial front line. That's going to take us all the way down to the inside of the arch, the medial arch. Where it's going to blend into, you can just step that way, turn your whole body that way, <coughs> and turn your foot in as well. Yeah. Where that's going to blend into the tendon of the fibular anomalous. That fibular anomalous goes behind the lateral malleolus, up the side of the leg, and joins in to the uh, fibular head. From there, instead of going straight back up the IT band like we did before in the lateral line, we're going to go to the bicep femoris on the back of the hamstring. That bicep femoris connects, of course, up into the issue of tuberosity here. Okay. Now, if there's one thing that you remember from these two days, I want it to be this, and I'll explain as we go through and do some possible tests in a minute. Your medial arch of your foot is connected to the front of your pelvis. The lateral arch of your foot is connected to the back of your pelvis. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody try this so you can feel it.